with Steven, I can go both. I can go one at a time, right? I can cross. That one's the hardest. But main thing, you want to make it hurt. Make sure he knows he's got to get faster. Right? See, that time he was ready. Good. You moved your hands. Right? So anticipate a little bit. Let's go. Partner up. Oh, uh, I just need anything. My fingers, I have some. Powerful hitter. Alright, let's go bring it up. We got one more time. Alright, we're gonna go two groups of three. So Gino, let's go. Or actually we got seven, huh? You guys can stick with your partners. We can go one group of three. Yes. No? Yes. Ball draw or ball grab. Steven, come down there. But I want you to make sure that we're two hand lengths away. So in a real game, I'm probably about this far away with my stick, right? Let me see your stick. Pretty good guess, right? Now, if we go two, we're gonna really over-exaggerate. So you can even go the long way, so right? We're gonna start far back. Use your shaft as that, that kind of guideline for yourself. Get nice and angled in this stance. And notice, I'm not super angled, but look at my knee. It's clearly pointed to the ball, my hip or my elbow clearly hugging my hip. And we want to snap straight at this ball. Too many times I see people side swipe. If I was going to punch him, I wouldn't go like that, right? I would snap that knuckle out. And almost you can open these fingers up if you really want. But just try to, as we talk about, hover over that ground and grab as you get there. Got me? Let's go partner up. We'll go best. We'll go five warm up, best to seven. Eight to six. You gotta grab a stick and you set it. Your head off. Yeah. Are you good? Down. It's read the phone. Shit. Rocco. I said Rocco again. Gino, side swiping, right? You're going like this. Yeah, hug that hip. Do you like this? I don't know why. Damn. That's point. I watched this saw something online. It threw me off. Shit. Way better. See your arm? Straight now. Good. Down. Shit. Turn that knuckle, right? You're side taking a little. Good job. Down. Hug that hip, right? Set. Batter, you see the difference? Good job. Down. Two more practice. Hug that hip, Connor. Look at Steven. Yeah, turn your right shoulder rack a little. Set. See, look, you see how your knuckle just hit the ball like this? That's what we want to avoid. Point your finger to the ball. Down. Last practice. Set. He twitched. What? What'd you guys think of what we did last time? Well, that was, uh, like, like pinching, hopping, setting our feet. You want to start with that? All right, Matthew, half clamp, just to recap. We'll make it a little more difficult today. So instead of just having the half clamp, let's turn like halfway to 10. So if 10 was here, we're like a little bit out, right? A little less. And cover it, make sure it's more so in the middle. Because if you're like that, that's going to be really hard to punch out of unless you have perfect technique. So middle of the stick, you can go a little turn out. So when we get here, we got to snap this left hand out. We'll start by just going on the ground. I know we progressed to going up a little bit, but we'll go low, right? Pinch, hop, drag, hop. You guys like the dummy pressure we did last time? So remember, if I'm this guy down, I'll hold it with my left hand. I'll put my foot here so he knows it's tight clamp, tight pinch. Set, go. Right? And then you guys can stick your arm out and try to trip him. Cool? 
Hey, so get when it, if he goes to trip, man, take your arm out. I can check work with my foot. You guys know people dive at you. Yes, he may get a loose ball push or a trip, but that's way less work or way work like for his team. That's a better situation than me getting a clean, fast break, right? I'd rather have that opportunity. So take that extra half second. Cool. Really? We'll go. We'll alternate. We'll go ten total. Set. You have two whistles. So really set in on that clamp until you hear the second one. Down. Set. Hey, you're not turning that knuckle down. Put it in the middle of your stick though, you're making it too hard for him. Right? Down, yeah. A little left. Shit. I need your punch harder. Why are you being so nice? Come on, you're today. Pop. Hop into a stick, try to break it. Down. Shit. That's way better. Now, hard pinch. Lean that right shoulder down. Get all your weight over. Good job. Your chest over the ball. Down. Two more, then we'll switch if you guys aren't alternating. Sounds exuding. I like it. There's a smile. Set. Let's go. Technique's looking better. I like it. You like that little left hand. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get your pinching like this. Get your feet wide and drop that shoulder over the ball. Yeah. Exactly. More in the throat too. Down. Middle, right? So now your head's not gonna be something like that. Better. Elbow back. Now turn. Yeah. Sit. Better. I want that full ball though. Snap that top edge down. Down. Shit. So oh, I like this. Now, quick little, uh, quick little wrinkle we're gonna add. So if I'm going with Connor for these last three, and I'm gonna start to do this with you guys more. I do it with the college kids and they love it. And I think it helps you guys just develop and get like residual reps and stick work and like face off savviness. Give me a tight clamp or half clamp. Set, bang, clamp, pinch. As I hop, pretend those wings converge on me and you guys know their sticks come from up, right? If my guys are like, hey, behind, behind, behind. Let's give it a little roll back. No look, see if you can get it right back to your partner. All right, down. That was pretty good, right on target. Oh, man. Sorry, I had to twist your ear full. Set. That was even close. Hey, so it's fine if you settle it, right? You were in there, take an extra half second. Down. Set. We're gonna work these next couple. We'll go back and forth on our alternative stationary exit. So we'll go different directions. First one, you're really gonna try to so if you go regular half clamp, you don't need to put your foot there now. Evan, you want to come down and go with me? He's going to pinch hop, clamp pinch hop, I should say, bang, bang, bang. And now I'm going to go to shovel and I want you to go directly to the left, right? Turn that left hip and foot to the sideline, drag past my front foot, flick and turn those shoulders. So if you do it for me, don't half clamp hard. Set, go, clamp, pinch, try to shovel me. I'm gonna go here, flick, and catch going to the sideline, got me? All right, let's go, we'll do two reps each, down. Shit. Good, one whistle's fine. 
Good job. Get more pressure right down that line. You guys should be going directly to the left. That way, once you get clear, if he overcommits, you cut up field, right? If he doesn't, he cuts you off, you go backwards. Same thing though, let's roll it back to our partner so he can set it up. Down. Set. Roll it back. Let's go. Residual reps, right, right here. Down. Yeah, every time. That was one each or two for one person. Set, whistle. Right, and get out nice and quick. Same thing, roll it back. Down. And I'm gonna come around with uh, the black, with black magic and try to check you guys. Down. Not actually check you, I'm just gonna disrupt. Set. Good job. So for you guys, whoever's rotating back, face that way with your back, right? So if you're drop stepping, you're doing this one. Good, down. Same thing, two each. So for you guys, whoever's drop stepping, go this way. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Like back facing that way. Set. Back, back, back. <laughs> Joe, you know, I thought you caught it originally. I thought you caught it originally. It's good pop. Little lower though, try to Shit. Good job. Honor. Shit. Slow motion, like 50 piece speed. Clamp, get your head on the neutral, and restart. Come down. Yay, there you go, that's fine. Set, go. Clamp, pinch, hop. Now drag, I want you to step with him. Like stay here, just step, and then try to give him a check. So he's got to turn those shoulders to the right as he pops. Good job, partner up, let's go. I'm still coming around. Good job handling the pressure last time. Down. This time, let's go shovel passes back to our partner. You guys know what a shovel pass is? This one. There you go. Down. Set. Shovel pass. So when we shovel pass, let me see it. If you have a defender on you, play me. You can hold those hands to the sidelines so I don't have to throw a weak hand and pass and my stick's all warped and my mesh is all messed up. Hold my hands to the sideline to evade pressure and just flick to give my teammate a chance. Makes sense? And you guys don't have to do this on the line. You can get in space. Down. Great shot, Convoy. Shit. Go protect it. Shovel pass, right? Roll away this way. To the side. Shit. Let's go shovel pass. Good. Take your time. Get. So don't use them. It's ready. Matthew. You and your partner. Ready, watch. Three, you guys actually, we have three groups or four? The blue ones have handles on them too, so like you're gonna take your gloves off and strap these to your hands. Cool, okay. hands? Yep. Now, we can either do them individually or with a partner. What would you guys like? Can we do both? Yeah. Let's go individual first, so everybody grab one. Yeah, we'll have you. I'm not sure. You want these? Hey, watch. Let's see. Oh, I'm getting arrested. You should have done this reverse. Take this off. Oh, okay. What is about these bands? If I show poor technique and I flare my elbow out, you guys feel a lot of tension like this. Try it. Now push forward. More or less. By a lot or a little. So what does that tell you? 
These things give us pretty good feedback. If I have bad technique, not a lot of tension. Good technique and I punch down, try to go down. Right, you can feel that tension. So what we want to do, we're going to go, I'll say down, set, whistle. Reset, down, set, whistle. Right, we're going to try to get some muscle memory in by doing a lot of reps in a short amount of time. Start with the ball all the way up top. We're going down that line. And I don't mind if you guys are a little slower with your technique. This is supposed to give us resistance, make us stronger, and feedback, let you guys know if you're doing it right. So set, bang, press off, right? See, I'm in my nice tie, I'm keeping my head low. Let's go, 10 reps, down. Right hand only, you can put that left hand behind your sticks for balance. Shut. Not a lot of feedback, right? Down. Punch the ball to my hand. Why not straight, come on. Shut. Good, you see the difference with the tension? Good job, down. Punch my hand. Shut. Good, you see the difference? Let's go, imagine that target's there, both of you guys, down. Rep three, punch from my hand. Shut. See the difference? Don't get out of your stance though, right? Stay low, look, turn my shoulders down. Down. Yeah, you guys should be finishing with this top over the ball. It's a good question. And as I'm showing you, as I go around, imagine you're punching all the way to the other side of that ball. I'm trying to turn this knuckle over right there. Does that make sense? So it's, and I overshot at that time, I'll redo. Set. See the difference? Down. Shut. Good, no rolling, no rolling. Come on, down. Shut. When I blow that whistle, you're like, uh, man. Just explode. Down. Shut. Good. Drop your head with your stick. Like follow it. Down. Three more. Shut. Good. Last this way. Look. Snap. 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 Not this finger towards here. Down. Try to get your pointer finger on my stick. Shut. I hear you're dropping your elbow. Down. Throw it towards me. Shut. Better, not harder. Shut. Good. How's that band? That one's heavy. All right, let's go two hands. Shut. Good, reset. I need you to punch your left hand on my foot, or my stick. Down. You're good, doing a better job of getting that line. Now slam it here. Shit. See how much stronger that is? Good job. Go. Down. Shit. Good. That's tight, tight knee. Down. Shit. You didn't punch my, your, um, you're going just down the line. I need you to go down the line and forward a little. Down. Shit. Stop stepping with your foot, keep it down. You see him, does he stand up? We don't want to come this way, we want to drive off those toes. Down. Yep, left foot up. Shit. Good. Better, right? You see how you slammed in my thing? Down, two whistles, sorry. Actually, let's go to one whistle on your own. Down. Set. Good, I like that, no roll there, that's much quicker, good job. Down. <laughs> Three more if all these guys get clearance. Set. Good. Down. Set. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Don't wait for me. Let's go one more. Technique was good though. You messed that up. What? Yeah. yeah. Down. This glove was on that side. So when you stop What? Shit. 
Shit! All right, you guys ready for rotations? Evan kicked me that other ball. That's why I just do it on the cuff. Can you kick me that other ball? Now, for starters, I want you all to clamp in and clamp half this ball. I want to work on tightening up your rotation. How many of you guys think you can get better at it? I can too, we all can. Now, how do we maintain, like if we have, first, first and foremost, if we have pressure on the top sidewall, we have a chance in the face off, correct? Now, how do we maintain pressure as we rotate around? Yes. We can, we, most importantly, we have to press down, right? We have to keep our right hand heavy. Now, when we rotate, think of the chain of connection between our body. What's touching the stick? My hands, so how do I pivot with my hands? My, my knuckles, right? I can turn my wrist. Now what about my upper body? I can pivot my shoulders, right? Then it goes downward to my hips, right? I can throw my hips and my feet. So let's think of it as two motion chains. My knuckles and shoulders, so it's all push down on this ball, and turn my knuckles and shoulders. So I can rotate and stay on top of it. I don't want to be moving around like that. I keep pressure here. And I can pivot back and forth, right? Now what happens if I get closer to the throat? Does it become easier or harder? Try it. To stay on that ball. Yeah. Way easier, right? Because there's more surface area down here. Now, you guys hear me say get to the corner. What if I get all the way to this corner when my throat meets that top sidewall? Come all the way here. How easy is it to stay on this ball as we rotate? Much easier, right? That's how we get down the line. Not only to get the ball towards our throat, strongest part of the stick, but to give ourselves a much better chance than any of those tie-ups, right? If the ball's down here and I only get a piece of it, but he gets half of it and it's up here, and I rotate tight, I'm probably gonna win. So what we're gonna do is you guys are gonna start here. We're gonna pop up. Now, we're gonna go knuckles and shoulders on my whistle, and then second whistle, you're gonna go hips and feet. Knuckles, shoulders, and feet. So whistle. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Got me? Let's try it, down. And if you feel tension on the bands, you know you're not low enough. Shit. Let's go away from my whistle. Now how awkward does it feel moving one at a time? Pretty awkward, right? Let's try to do everything together. We want everything always working in sync when we face off. That's how to maximize our speed, our strength, our balance, everything. So when we're here, let's get to a perfect tie-up stance. It's ready, we clamp to the corner of our stick. Now press up. I want my head down, my butt high, and my feet wide. So now when I go knuckles and shoulders, all I do is I shuffle those feet, try it. Bang, 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 and look, look up. Watch, look up. I want my head over that right glove and my right shoulder over that glove because that's where I need to be heaviest. This knuckle doesn't come off the ground. It rotates on that ball and just stays pressed. My left hand comes up slightly. Think of that hover analogy again. And I drop it maybe a foot out to rebalance my weight as I rotate around. So what we're going to do is I'm going to blow the whistle. You're going to clamp. Second whistle. One, two, rotation. Third whistle, one, two, and so on until you hear a double whistle, which means we're gonna pop. So I'll demo. Down, set. Got me? All right, let's go. Set. One, two. Head low. Hey, all the way up to my arm. One, two, hard move. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good job, Steven. Yeah, who knows?
Somebody else. Why do we do that? Why do we do it? Who can do it to mix it up, throw the other team's wings off? We do it to get our body in front of the ball so we can escape the face-off circle safely. If we're going against a pole, someone disrupting, if someone stands up after a tie-up. So what we're gonna do is work on it out of rotating forward because more often than not, unless you guys get really good, you're not gonna be going against some, or you play somebody who's bad. We're not gonna be going against somebody who just stands up and lets us win the face-off. But if we do, we're gonna be ready. Most likely it's gonna come out of a tie-up situation where you secure the ball, and rather than you just raking it out and going and chasing it and getting whacked for 20 more seconds, we're gonna defensive escape from that face-off dot. Make sense? So let's come down. Just like we can go forward, we can also go back. So when we get to our tie-up stance, go one, two forward, one, two back. Try it. And now, when we go backwards, the main thing is a lot of times people are trying to disrupt us, get their sticks in there. We gotta drop our head down and flip our foot around to protect my stick. You guys see that? So, first whistle, Steven, you're gonna be the demo dummy. I should say smarty if you get it right. Down. First whistle, you're going forward. Clamp, rotate forward. Second whistle, rotate back. Third whistle, forward. Fourth, back until you hear a double whistle. You're alternating each time. Each whistle, you go forward, then back, forward, then back, and then a double until I until you hear the next whistle. I can make you go. Yeah. No, not one, two. We're going around. One, two, three, four. Down. Yeah, I'm at no. You do you understand? Alright, I see it. Down. I'm doing one rotation, I'm doing two. A full rotation every time. You're just going until you hear another whistle. So if I blow it forward, yes, you switch directions on the whistle. Set, go, rotate forward. Go, rotate back. Go, rotate forward. Go, rotate back. Go, go out. And we don't have to half clamp that, right? So Matthew, you come down. Just show it once. It's good for your footwork though. Head low, down. Set, go, forward. Go, back, whistle forward, whistle back, double whistle out. You guys see it? All right, let's go. Three reps, then we can take lives. You all, so if we go out backwards, at, like say we're rotating backwards and you hear the double whistle, when you pinch, just turn these shoulders to the left as we go to pop so I can get my back to my opponent. It's the same thing if I were going forward <clears throat> and I exit out, I can turn those shoulders to the left or drag around that guy to get out. Make sense? Down. Set. <laughs> Down. There's soaking penalties out here. Set. Head low. Good, good job almost. Hey, pinch it to your armpit. Straight up. Set. Rotate. Good. Keep going. Break that. Good drag, almost. Hey, turn those shoulders to get, get away from that check. All right, bands off. You guys can go put them over here. Pinch Steven right away. Good, out. Nice job, quicker, quicker, quicker. You push into a stick. You're back a little, so you're like this. He sits really tight, so he drops right over the ball. Get your chest, and your shoulders should really be over the line. There's nothing against you being over the line. Just trying to get this hand into the head of your stick. Like that, yeah. That's what I mean by that pointer finger. Oh, I was putting another. Rotate left. Pete, you stay. So Gino, you skip him. Get right here. Got me? Shit! Hey, your your technique's really good. Have you been trying? You're really light on your hands, right? Oh, yeah. Try putting a tiny bit of pressure on that sidewalk yeah. and drop, punch more. A little lower with your chest. Down! You don't need to be so high. Round two, reps two. Yeah. Yeah. A little pressure and a little lower. 
Yep. Check. See how much stronger you are there? The other way, if you don't time the whistle, you're not beating like people are strong. Like I watched the Natick video. You're not losing based on speed. You're losing because you're not strong enough off that first nine to 12 rotation. All right, down. Set. Good, E, drive. Why are you on your knee? It's all, I'm just kidding. It's all good, right? <clears throat> Push off that knee. Your, your hands are getting better though. He's quick. But you got it. You go. Go and pinch. Yo, you're still on your knee. Right? You gotta clean. Man, all the practice is paying off. Now you just gotta take that extra half second. So I asked these kids this today. Are you a human or no? No, seriously, it's a real question. You can talk to yourself, right? Unfortunately, I can't be there in the game whispering, yo, you gotta pinch, you gotta hop. You gotta coach yourself up, right? Even college kids, I played the highest level, if you want to call it that. And we don't have a face-up coach, yeah. right? You gotta be able to talk to yourself. Hop, pinch, hop, right? Everything I teach you, all those little bullet points, run through them in your head. Down, you gotta snap, look. Lighter and more fingertips. With the unit, yeah, that's fine. You're good now, adjust your stance with there. We're good. Set. Better. You just keep against him. You call him out. Set. Good rotate. He's on the tracks. Hey, that was really good. One thing that you don't have is tape, right? Yeah. So what's your wrist doing? It's like this, right? The one thing when you're rotating, get your chest right behind this as you rotate. You don't want it to be like that where you're just wedging. Lock in, squeeze that stick. Better though, it's really good. Get improvement from last. Set. Oh! Dude, your hands are getting so good, but you're getting lazy now because of it. Rotate, right? Just If you work this week, anything, just push off that knee when you clamp. Down. <laughs> Set. Why are you sweeping out? You could. You're good enough at rotating. You could have got around. He's, his hands are good. You guys are pretty, pretty much identically dressed. Down. Set. Good job. Way to get out quickly though. That was nice. Practice. All right. Let's bring it up. Set. Pinch. Dude, when you pinch, lean your shoulder over. Let me see your stick. If I go like this, and my pressure doesn't change, just by dropping down, you see that? Right? More weight on the ball. That's, that's a sticker. Drop your shoulder down over. Set. Job, Dylan. Oh, hey. If you get it on the back of your stick, shouldn't happen. That means he pushed into you. Don't fight through him and give him a chance to rake it out because it's exposed, right? Roll your wrist back and pop it backwards. Down. Rep three. Set. Pinch like pinch. Job, Evan. Victory! Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, we're good. Set. Good rotate, good. Turn that knuckle, pinch. Hell yeah. Doesn't that feel so much better? Now you don't gotta chase it. I need to get my left hand out Yeah, a little more. It's good though, it's better. Now he's got a little more experience than you, so I'm gonna take it easy on your technique and critique. But what I wanna see, look up. Snap those hands to the ball. Think about punching right to here, both of you guys. Down. Set. Rotate. Pinch tail. 
Oh, good counter. Drag back. Good job. Probably practice losing. Mm -hmm. This is like Persian music. All right, we're good. Set. <laughs> Guys, want me to be real with you? Do you want me to be real with you? That was probably the worst face off I saw to both of you all night. We gotta do another one. Down, I need you both. You're getting too tight and you're like, you have no power because this elbow's out. Your first move and when you practice, I know you said you practice, we gotta work on what you practice now. Well, that could be true. Snap, towards the ball. You, you never want your arm totally straight, but I'd rather have it straight than like this, right? So you need to think about punching right at his hand. For you, I need you to lock into that right hand and be more aggressive when you finish. This thing, how long you got it? Should be way more pinched than this. When you're down here, you should be uh, wrenching with this stick because this bottom sidewall shoots underneath this stick and gives you such an advantage. Try it. Down. Set. Watch better, Gino. It's all right. I probably get to the moment think about it a little more. All right, let's go. Last round. Who's my undefeated? You go with. You three go. You three go. Perfect. Down. First one to two. Shit. Good job. Way to finish. Turn. Give me five push ups and we'll start at zero. We gotta work on your, we got, that's your next assignment, push-ups, not just Clinton. Just got banged on 100 in like five minutes. All right, we're good. Set. Good job, we to finish. Good exit, good exit. That's a hold. Hold, 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 hold. We're good. Set. Throw tape. Yeah, you know it. At least you know now, right? All right, you guys good? Bring it up. 